Hey guys, I'm Natalie. Welcome to today's low impact, high intensity workout. You'll need a set of two hand weights and a floor mat for a couple of the moves. Let's get started with our warm up. Face the feet out to the corners of the room. And let's start with a little squat tap, rolling the shoulders up and back for one, two, three, keeping them back and down while we're working out. Pull yourself up through the crown of the head, a nice long, tall torso supported by a really strong core, arms up. And let's do my favorite warm up, little jabs to the front. Imagining that one of these jabs is gonna hit you right in the tummy. Come a little bit lower in the squat tap, warm up those quads and the glutes. Let's do a few more, three, two, and one, let's turn it into uppercut. So come a little bit lower again into the squat tap and you're punching up into an imaginary punching bag up in front of your face. So you're not just flopping the arms up, you're really giving them a little jab and you're bracing the abs on each jab. Three, two, and one, turn it into crossbody hooks, swiveling at the hip, punching bag on either side of the body and arm up at shoulder height, abs still engaged. Let's keep the core engaged the whole time we're working out. Three, two, and one. Maintain this wide stance, reach side to side. Let's look at our form, guys. Look down, knees should be behind toes. If your knees are out here, send that booty back. Keep the torso nice and long and tall, no hunching over. Three, two, and one, shuffle on the spot. I'm gonna show you the first move. Two hand weights, roll the shoulders back and down, starting hip distance apart. Arms overhead, don't hunch the shoulders, keep them back and down. Squat, knee up, squat together. So narrow, knee up, wide together. Pretty simple move. Let's focus on our form. Shoulders back and down. Arms overhead, don't hunch them up, get ready, here we go. Squat, knee up, wide together. Narrow, knee up, wide together. So it's four parts. One, two, three, four. Sitting back into that squat, booty goes back, and let the core help lift those arms. So other side, narrow squat, up, wide squat together. Watch my booty sitting back. Let's do it. Narrow knee up, wide together. Sending the booty to the back of the room, letting the torso naturally pivot forward. Sorry, I think I messed that one up. Narrow knee up, wide together. Too busy talking. Let's do one more. Well done, guys. Starting a V in a bicep. You're gonna tap behind on a diagonal with a tricep extension, side lunge, tap, side. Here we go. Tap it, side lunge. So you're tapping behind on a diagonal. It's not a curtsy. The leg is straight. The back is long and pivoted forward. And letting those arms swing up behind you to their maximum, maximum range. So a V, tap behind. My arms are coming up, my palms are in. I'm trying to reach that tricep and then over to a bicep. Here we go. Tap. So we're going. Tricep, bicep. Keeping that back long and tall. No hunching over. The core is working right now. Keeping that back long. Two, one. All right, guys. I'll show you on the side. We're gonna tap back, reverse fly, and up. Get ready to tap back left. Tap back, reverse fly, knee up. Tap back, reverse fly, knee up. Slowing it down a little bit. Leg straight back behind you. Again, torso coming forward, nice and long and tall. Two, one. So I'll show you on the other side. Tap back, reverse fly, knee up with the bicep. Get ready, here we go. Tap it back, reverse fly, knee up. So we're loading this front leg again. Squeeze those shoulder blades together on the reverse fly. Letting that torso come forward, keeping the back long and tall. 
two, one. Guys, put the hand weights down. We're going to come into a wide foot plank like last week. Roll to the side. Bottom leg comes up and back to centre. Here we go. Roll to the side. Your back leg, knee towards elbow, and then back to a plank. So side, plank, side, crunch, plank. I don't really want to call it a crunch because I don't want you to really crunch the top of the torso down. Other side. So we're rolling around this back leg. The knees just coming up and then back to centre. Here we go. Roll it, knee up and centre. You can slow it down if you like. So just imagine drawing that knee up to the centre. Don't necessarily crunch the top of your body down. Two, one. Well done, guys. One down, three to go. Grab a drink. We're using two hand weights for all of the rounds today. Start with a narrow stance and a lateral raise. Narrow squat stand, narrow squat side leg lift and repeat. Here we go. Narrow squat, just stand and now a leg lift. Stand and leg lift. With that leg lift, use your right glute, the side booty, squeeze and hold. It's a subtle move, squeeze and hold. <sighs> Sitting back into that squat. <sighs> so making sure the foot is flexed. Don't turn the toes up and try and engage from the side. Here we go, one squat, squat, stand, squat, lift and repeat. Sitting back into the squat, squeeze and hold. Don't just throw the leg out there. Squeeze it up using your side booty of your left glute. Well done, guys. Step back, left leg into a rear lunge position, overhead press, same. Down, stand, down, lift. Here we go. Rear lunge, stand, rear lunge, lift. Using your left glute cheek, squeeze that leg up and squeeze. Keep it moving, guys. Come nice and deep in that rear lunge. Other side. Stepping your right leg back. Don't open the hips, tuck them under. It's a rear lunge. Here we go. Lunge, stand, lunge, lift. Using now your right glute to lift that leg up. It's a subtle move, but see if you can focus on the glute to lift that leg. Squeeze it up. Well done, guys. Okay, wide stance. Start with the front raise. Side lunge, centre, side, sweep. Get ready. Side lunge, centre, side, sweep. One, two, three, four. Staying low as we move side, centre, side, sweep. Working the inner thighs. Do half one. We're going to do the other side. I'm going to grab a little rest. Get ready, guys. Side lunge. Here we go. Side, centre, side, sweep it across. Keeping the foot flexed, leading with the inside edge of the foot. Imagine the heel sweeping across the body and then straight back to that side lunge. All right, guys, grab your mat on your side. Forearm, heels in line with the booty. Weights on top of the hip, just lifting up and down. Here we go, lift it up and down. So you're pushing your hip up off the floor and as you come up, you're raising that top leg as one unit, squeezing it up and down. If the weights aren't feeling right on the hip, just put them on the floor. Other side. So heels in line with the booty, Leave the weights if you want, lifting it up and down. Otherwise, stack them on top, lifting it up and down. Squeezing that bottom hip up off the floor 
and then opening up that top hip at the same time. Hips are stacked on top of each other. Do not open that knee up towards the ceiling. So I don't want you to do this. Well done, guys. Grab a drink. You're halfway done. I need that drink. Two hand weights. Narrow knee up, wide knee up. Narrow up, wide together. Don't hunch the shoulders back and down. Here we go. Narrow up, wide together. Sending the booty to the back of the room. Push it back and push it back. But that torso is always long and tall. Keep it moving. Five seconds. Two, one. So other side. Sit back into it. Knee up, sit back into it. No hunching over. Here we go. Down, knee up, wide together. Narrow to wide. We are on the home stretch, guys. More than halfway through. A few more. Narrow to wide. Let's do one more. Well done. I want that V, pivot forward, tap and side. Here we go. Tap it, side lunge. Swinging the arms up behind you. Palms are facing in. Straighten the arms and bend them. I'm actually not coming into a true side lunge. It's kind of more of a diagonal. Okay, my heart rate is up. Pivot forward. Tap back on a diagonal. Side lunge. Here we go. Tap and side. Tricep, bicep. If you are feeling tired, feel free to pause and take a longer rest. You're not cheating. You're just making your workout more effective. Step behind, pivot forward, step, reverse fly, knee up, I'll show you on the side, back, reverse fly, knee up, back, reverse fly, knee up, torso, long and tall, squeeze those shoulder blades together on that fly, squeeze and up, tap, squeeze and up, other side. Making sure the knee is over ankle. If your knee's here, just pull your body weight back and don't hunch over. Here we go. Tap it back, reverse fly, and knee up. If the knee up's too much, just tap. Squeeze and tap. We're really loading this front leg again. The glute and the quad. Very effective exercise. Two, one. Well done, guys. Weights down, coming to a wide foot plank. Don't let the back collapse, tuck it under. We're going to the side. Back leg, in and out. Here we go. Roll, back knee up, to plank. Roll, back knee, to plank. Keep it moving at a nice, steady pace. Working our core, working this supporting arm. All right, guys, other side. Woo. I definitely feel it in the supporting arm. Woo. Nice wide foot plank. Get ready to roll. Here we go. Roll it up and to plank. Just focusing on our form. It's a bit slower, so we've got more time to focus on Woo. feeling those muscles, feeling that core. Woo. Five seconds. Well done, guys. Grab a drink. You've only got one round to go. Okay. Sorry for the loud water drinking there. Okay. Shoulders back and down. Narrow up, narrow lift. Get ready. Here we go. Narrow squat stand, narrow squat lift. Keeping that foot flexed. Squeeze and hold your right glute. Squeeze the leg up. It's a subtle move, 
See if you can put all your focus into your right side booty to lift. And again, sitting back into it. Not here. Booty goes back. Torso naturally pivots forward. Your left leg. Squat, stand, squat, lift. Keeping the toes pointed down so that foot is perpendicular to the body. And lift it. Five seconds. Two, one. Step back. Grab a little rest. Arms up. Lunge, stand, lunge, lift. Get ready. Here we go, lunge it down, stand, lunge. Squeeze it up. So your left glute, put your focus there. Squeeze it up. Using the core, shoulders definitely getting a workout today. Other side, right leg back. Don't open up that hip. Keep it tucked under. Get ready, guys. Here we go. And lunge, stand, lunge, squeeze it up. Using your right glute to squeeze that leg. Try and keep the torso long and tall. Pause and take a longer rest if you need to. Workout should be fun, not killing you. My heart rate's way up there. All right, out in front, side, center, side, sweep. Here we go. Side, center, side. Sweep it across. Focus. Inner thigh sweep. Straight back to a side lunge. Side, center, side. Use that inner thigh to sweep the leg across the body. I'm going to get out of half a one and have a little rest. Making sure that you're really using your inner thigh. Here we go, guys. Side, center, side. Sweep it across. We are on the home stretch. After this, on your mat for the last move, or the last two moves. Three, two, one. Grab your mat, come down on either side of your body, onto your forearm, heels stacked in line with the booty and we're lifting up. Here we go. Lift it up and down, pushing that hip up off the ground as this top leg raises up to the ceiling at the same time as one unit. Still in that same bent position. Really working our core and our glutes. Oh, I totally snuck out of one there. Other side. Heels in line with the booty. Weights on the hips. And lift it up and down. Last move of the day. Let's focus on our form. Nice deep breaths. Bringing the heart rate down. Squeezing the hips up and down. Five seconds. Two, one. Guys, you are done. Okay. I'm doggy free today, so let's put your right leg forward and stretch through that left hip, breathing into it. Your left arm comes up, catch it with your right. Really breathe into that shoulder as you continue to push forward through your hips, stretching out the shoulder. We really worked them today. Your left arm comes up, reach down the center of your back, press down on your elbow to get a bit of a deeper stretch in that tricep and very gently leaning over to the right side of your body, really opening up that left side. Back to center, tuck the toes, keep the knee on the ground, or lift it up into a runner's lunge. Arms come up and overhead, don't hunch the shoulders, they're back and down. Look up between the hands. And your left leg hand comes on the inside of your right foot, and very gently pivoting, reaching the hands up to the sky, pressing the hands away from each other, pressing the head and the, and the heels away from each other, nice and long and tall. Back to center, knee back on the ground if it's off. Press the body weight back, flex this front foot and very gently coming forward with a nice long flat back. 
until you can feel the stretch in your hamstring. Breathing into it, giving it a little rub. And a tap down, other side, other leg comes forward. Pressing through this hip, really pressing that booty and opening up that hip. Breathing into it, right arm comes up, catch it with the left. Breathe into that shoulder. Nice, long, slow, deep breaths, pushing out against this front bent arm. Your arm comes up, reach down the center of your back, press down on that elbow, getting a tricep stretch and very gently leading over to the left side of your body. Very, very gentle. Feeling that hip open up a bit more, back to center. Tuck these back toes under, leave the knee on the floor or lift it up off the floor into a runner's lunge. Arms come up and overhead. Don't hunch the shoulders, they're back and down, loose and relaxed. Feeling that hip opening up a bit more. Right arm on the inside of your left foot, very gently pivoting and looking under your left armpit, stretching the two hands away from each other, stretching the head towards the front of the room and the heel and the, the booty towards the back of the room, nice and long and tall. Back to center, knee back on the ground if it's off. Push the body weight back and flex this front foot and very gently coming forward, just as far as you need to, to feel this hamstring stretch, tapping into it, giving it a little rub, breathing the oxygen down there. Nice and long, slow, deep breaths. Bring your feet into a little tuck position, come into a crouch and slowly, slowly unravel, walking the hands up your shins, the knees are staying bent, over the knees, up the quads, slowly stacking the vertebrae on top of each other, one at a time, slowly, slowly, the head's the last to come up. All right, guys, let's do three big arm circles up and back for one, two, three, holding those hands back and down, opening up this chest, switch which hand is on top, nice big stretch, let's do our quads. Guys, I hope you liked that one. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun for me. I felt like all of the moves worked really well together. If you've got any favorites, please let me know. I know for some people, relunge is not a favorite, so I'm trying to minimize the amount of relunges that I'm doing, but it's still important to do them because they're really effective for the glute, for the quad, but especially if you know, for getting into this part of the booty, which I know we all love. Thanks again for working out with me, and I hope to see you next time.